Hello and welcome to this very simple pedicure tutorial. As you can see in this front picture here, uh, there's a kind of a mishmash of products I was able to come up with on a very short notice so that I can make this for you. Um, you have everything in your kits at this moment to complete your pra practices if that's what you wish to do. Uh, first things first, you can set up any two chair station have some nice thick towels and make sure you inspect the feet very thoroughly. Uh, look in between the toes, make sure nothing funny is going on. Check the legs, feel for any swelling, talk to your client. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to file the toenails. If they need nail clipping, use your toenail clippers and clip them straight across and give it a nice little file. Uh, just uh, smooth out the rough edges and make sure there's nothing poking on the sides that can potentially hurt the neighboring toe when they're wearing shoes. Uh, always start with a small toe, work your way towards the big toe. Repeat nail filing on both feet. Okay, go back to your first foot and use your cuticle eliminator that you have in your kits. Uh, here I'm using CND cuticle away. Repeat on both feet. Use your cuticle pushers and just give it a nice little spreading of the product around and then let the chemical sit there and do its thing. So here's the thing. Use your rasp, the rough side of your foot file, and while the foot is still dry, you want to remove corns and calluses. This is the safest way to accomplish this. Uh, we do not use credo blades, we do not use cutting tools to remove those. So remember, while the foot is still dry, use the rough edges or the rough side of your foot file and remove those corns and calluses before they go in the water. Next thing, you're going to put some soap and warm water into a bin, a basin. You're going to soak the feet two to five minutes. Take out the first foot, give it a little dry, and then use your cuticle and callus eliminator. In this case, I'm using a spray-on uh, callus eliminator. You get it all over the foot and make sure you use your hands to spread the product around. This will help soften all the hard areas and prepare it for filing. Now go ahead and use your foot file. You can hold a leg at the ankle at the bottom and you can rest your own elbow on your lap to help to support the weight of the foot because your client shouldn't be holding onto the weight of the foot. It actually gets pretty uncomfortable after a couple of minutes. So go ahead, support the leg and then start using back and forth motions to smooth out the calluses as best as you can. Okay. Repeat the process on the other foot, same thing. Go back to the first foot you're going to use your cuticle pushers and you're going to gently scrape dead skin off the nail plate and push back the cuticle to reveal a nail plate underneath. This is especially important on the pinky or the small toe, I should say, uh, because we want to be able to have a nice surface for painting. Now this dead skin and the cuticle should come off fairly easy because the foot has been soaking for a while. And unlike the hands, you can actually soak the feet with no issues as far as poly polish application. So go ahead, scrape everything really well, but gently communicate with your client to ensure that they're not being hurt. 
It's important to know that after you start pushing and cleaning the cuticle, this foot is not going to go back in the water. You want to hold each toe independently and really get in there, give it a good clean. If there's anything under the toenails free edge, uh, very, very gently, you can use a birch wood stick or your cuticle pusher and you can just kind of go around the sides and clean it up without causing any discomfort. Next thing, you're going to be using your cuticle nippers and you're going to start with a small toe. You're going to clean off all that dead skin. This is still the same foot, ladies. Very carefully. Make sure you're not cutting any live tissue, just, just the dead stuff, okay? Hold each toe separately, individually in your fingers and give it a good, good cleanup. This foot is now done. You can put it down at the side and repeat on the other foot, the same process by pushing and eliminating the cuticle. And then you can push the water basin out of the way Go back to your first foot and perform a foot and leg massage. You do not require gloves for this portion because the legs are 100% clean. Uh, there's nothing as far as contagious diseases on the foot because you inspected it. So just take your time, do a massage. Remember you want to push up to move the blood circulation towards the torso and go gently back down. Focus on the bottom of the foot. Apply enough pressure so that you're not tickling them. The top of the foot is very sensitive. Give it a nice little massage, follow around the ankles. It's very important to allow your client to enjoy this time, so try and keep the talking to a minimum. going to repeat this process on the other foot. Remember when you're massaging the bottom or back of the ankle right there, you want to not apply any pressure on the pregnant woman because that could potentially start contractions. Once both feet are massaged, your client is relaxed, you're going to use two separators. In my case, I prefer using um, tissue. So just a Kleenex tissue to separate them, which is, I find a lot co more comfortable than using toe separators. So go ahead and whatever method you use to separate the uh, toes, do that at this point, do it to both feet at the same time. You can use a buffing block or your nail file very gently to smooth the surface of the toenail before you do the uh, isopropyl alcohol for degreasing. So go ahead and degrease the nail plate very thoroughly. Get right into the edges of the skin folds there. Make sure all the oils are removed from the nail plate so that the polish can last a uh, nice and long time. Now once these are degreased, you're good to go with the base coat. I am using a nail polish that has a base coat built in, so I am skipping the base coat. In your case, you might need to use a base coat, so please apply that first, starting with the pinky or the small little toenail, right? Yeah. But just be very careful not to allow the polish to 
bleed into the sides. You want to be holding each individual toe in your fingers, just like when you paint hands. Repeat on the other foot, do the second coat. So from my 15 plus years of experience, what I can tell you when it comes to pedicures, regardless of the setting, uh, regardless of your um, chair situation, uh, you really don't need much as far as your pedicure setups. Um, what's really important to your client when it comes to a pedicure are two things. Massage. You make sure you pay close attention to the massage that is their favorite part and the end result meaning does the polish look great so keep that in mind going forward massage the heck out of those feet uh, make sure you get them relaxed do not talk throughout the massage protocol and make sure that polish looks amazing when you're done and that's really all that they care about at the end and you will have clients following you regardless of where you go because you are capable of giving them the best pedicure they've ever had so finish that off with a top coat in your kits ladies you have the nail dryer the enamel nail dryer you can go ahead and give it a nice spray. If you run out of the nail dryer and you have no ways to help with the drying process, you can go ahead and actually use a little bit of cuticle oil. In my case, it doesn't matter. You can use a lot of cuticle oil. Um, so go and clean up the little edges. And so here I am applying cuticle oil droplets to each individual nail. And it doesn't matter if you put too much on there because the skin will soak it right up when it's done drying. This helps to protect the surface of the nail polish and it allows it to dry much quicker. And this is what a set of disposable toenail separators look like. You can use those as well. Um, there you have it. Thank you for watching.